so here we'll build up controller so through right click you can just uh, maybe some of you guys know EMG, but I'm telling for those guys who are not familiar with this one. So custom image and search or bandwidth save. We can use this space for the controller. Through this, you can stretch this box. Yeah. So just go to right click node and first we need to add the V manage Pela V manage by default it's picking for CPU 16 GB RAM that's enough we don't need to change just change the image 19.1.0 we will use that one 19.2 having some bugs so it was creating a problem in this we can keep here okay and note through this you can add v smart and with the help of v smart and images and and V bond here we can increase the CPU one more thing V bond having the same image which is for VHS only just we define to this image that you are the V bond that's the only difference V smart and V manage is having different images but we want is having same image which is for the which normally we use for the as devices okay so only two interface we will require now here we v -bond. and here we can deploy a switch <laughs> So, uh, Sachin, is it something I'm not sure if it's been asked earlier, but uh, do we can we get these images as well to build lab on our environment, the laptops as well? No. That's not a, no. You can download directly from the maybe. Suppose you get the images. For example, mm -hmm. you got the images. How you will arrange the serial file? Mm -hmm. Because this organization will not share their own, own serial file with you, right? Okay, so, so this organization is already purchased some serial numbers yeah, for yeah, to yeah, run yeah. that on the lab. Because okay. if you are uh, uh, if you are downloading the serial file, so you should have a smart account, and smart account will be there when you have purchased some licenses. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, so That's serial right. file is must to configure. This. Okay. Somebody in my lab. Okay, are you able to see my screen? No. Um, yes, we are able to see. Okay. This this RDB session you are able to see? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So 
the this lab we need to uh, build like the same way you're building right now from yeah, yeah. yeah yeah the same yeah. thing from the scratch right yeah same thing from the scratch that's how you will learn it pios router where is the image You click on browse, you just right click on any blank space, click on node. Yeah. 
too. So just I'm preparing the topology so that we can simulate all the flows and uh, how we can <coughs> how to look like branch one, branch two, and we can create another one. Check if any message come from the lab team. Oh, still they are checking. Maybe by tomorrow or <coughs> Monday you will get. I think Saturday Sunday lab is not available. I don't think so. And maybe you'll get a credential. Credential is same. I think maybe some issue in the back end. So I need to check. So connect a cable like this. For port number zero, we will use an internet. And for MPLS, we will use a port one. Okay. And Branch one. Same thing here. MPLS connection is there, so we will use the edge port one. Here the branch is second, so we can use port second. So easy for us to troubleshoot. And we'll connect one. Internet branch two and VH and we will keep the zero zero for internet. <coughs> and one another connection I use Ethernet ISP. like this so in this one just remember you don't need to uh, keep the same ip if you want you can but at least uh, you please change your system ips i will keep this one 1.1.1.100 one dot one dot one dot hundred for site one 200 for site two and 500 for dc you can keep any other like 101 one it, it will not create any problem if some guys just keep the same but it is easy for you also so that or you want to keep the same no problem but i recommend you that you go it's a lab and v bond ip i have assigned these are the van ips right 10.10.10.21 slash 30. this same thing also mentioned in the lab step when we will do the uh, complication so i have mentioned the same ip address for v manage v smart and v bond uh, if you want to keep same you can otherwise uh, you can do some uh, uh, differently right so 
here you can see that I have assigned 10 here then 9 on this interface 30 likewise here 21 then 22 right so basically we are connect, uh, creating the connectivity between these three controllers so one more one more important thing when any device is on up state suppose for example let me share my lab currently is powered off there is no devices power on so right now if i am, i want to connect any cable here it will work but when i make it on and that time you will connect a cable that will not work so your device should be on shut state don't do any wipe for any of the device just stop and start okay so this topology uh, you can start creating and i have already shared the topology on that one so the same idea that if you will click on if you will just right click node right so any edge you want to search you can type edge v bond you want to add you can type v bond so one important thing these those are the some blue other are gray so blue images are available only here so either if you want to search this way you can do that either you want to type here and you can search right and suppose if i want to add switch PIS switch just click here and save that's it if you want to change name the same time you can change the name because if you change the name later when the configuration is already done after two three days when we have done all the configuration then sometime the config got removed so if you want to keep any name then you can uh, do in initial stage after the configuration if you will change the name the config will be removed so okay. so i want to keep branch three switch is just i'm putting here so just for my identification if i will open any window so on that window it will show me right and in the off state you can connect a cable right here is like this here you will see that where you are connecting branch 3 switch g00 right any interface you can use for any edge you will please don't use eth0 because for eth0 we will not connect any transport interfaces only we will use eth0 for just for activation and to connect a management port right so here we can see the two port is already connected g00 and g01 so we can use g02 okay say and that's how it will work right so if device is power on then the cable will not be connected okay so you just start the making the topology i will also start my so for this one for this icon here you can see this icon management right only for this icon you can just right click network go to the network and in place of bridge you can select management that's it and save here you can keep here either you want to change name then we can change the name here management management and save now i will connect this to let me check the port i'm using okay eth1 eth1 g00 okay these are the wrong so i need to delete this one you can also start preparing your lab it will not take max to max 15 20 minutes just to add the device and connect a cable this box is color if you want to do you can otherwise you can do later like and subscribe my channel and share with those guys who want to learn sd van thank you so much